been said this is anti-LGBT. Uh, it, it's not anti-L because lesbians know what, uh, what gender they are. They know they're female. It's not uh, uh, anti-gay because they know they're men and they use the men's room. It's really not anti-B because they know what sex they are and they use those facilities. And it's really not anti-T because we provided accommodation for transgender people who have gone all the way through the process of getting hormone changes, getting sex changes, getting their biology uh, you know, changed to the point where they even change their birth certificate. The law provides for all that. So what is this? I mean, you're, you're really talking about a small microcosm, a very small segment of the population that's probably less, far less than 1% of these people that call themselves gender fluid. That's who you're talking about. So what, did, what does this do? This law discriminates against 99.9% .9 of the people out there who are not that who don't have a voice in this. Women and children have no voice in this to say, wait a minute, I don't want a man walking into my bathroom or my shower. You, who's defending the people that could ultimately be victims of some bad actor out there? That bad actor, we've never said it would be the LGBT community or the transgender community, but there, we have 24,000 registered sex offenders in North Carolina, and there's a whole lot of other bad actors out there who will look for any loophole in a law to take advantage of it for their purposes. And so that's what you don't want. You don't want one woman or one child to be a victim because you created a loophole in your law.